So, so guys, uh, what do you think is relevant to bring up uh, an 80s icon now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, you're going to start asking us producer questions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It, the concept and idea of MacGyver was just golden. It's just a great idea, and it's just time to, to polish that boot and really make it shine again. Um, it's an idea and a concept that just holds up. It's a character that holds up. Mm-hmm. Did you go back and watch the old uh, oh, show? Yeah. Oh yeah, the oh, whole, yeah. the whole, not series. the whole series. <laughs> yes. That's about seven times uh, twenty-two times forty-five. Um, not good enough in math to figure that but out. But any lot. time, as actors, we want to research what we're doing. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I mean, and you can you can watch it. And for me, when I watched it, I kind of chuckled a little bit. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't wait to contemporize. Yeah, Such a great yeah, idea, yeah. from the music to the way they shoot now, to the mm-hmm. effects now. I think some people have seen some of the trailers where he's hanging off the bottom of an airplane. It looks so real. Pretty sweet. It's, mm-hmm. You know, the CG's caught up. Everything's caught up. And uh, even our stories, we're using uh, Skype, FaceTime, we're texting, we're doing all the things that kind of we do in a modern society to catch up the technology aspect. In, in those times, you know, a- action TV shows were... As something that you could see in TV. There were a lot of action TV shows. You know, I remember Matt Houston, I remember Magnum P.I., I remember A-Team, MacGyver. And nowadays, there are no more action TV shows. Right. There, there right. are yeah. procedurals with action, or maybe some kind right. of... Yeah, no. So I are you bringing mean. back oh, some oh, yeah. of the action? It's, <laughs> it's action all the time, whether you, we or you want it or not. <laughs> it's happening. There's nothing that can be done. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, we were just... I did so much. It was such a blur. I mean, we were still still starting. We haven't had a, much of a break yet to even sit down and think until I saw that, that trailer this morning. I was like, wow, this stuff looks really good. This looks really cool. It's, yeah, it's, cool to, it's to demanding it. physically and mentally is... For the actors, but that's also the kind of challenge that we live for, yeah. as well. So, yeah. I think it's different than anything that's definitely on. Like a lot that. of moaning and groaning, <laughs> sore. <laughs> yeah, um, this is a but we just want to pay tribute to a legendary program, and mm-hmm. uh, we. The only pressure we feel is the pressure we put on ourselves, and I don't think anybody can put more pressure on ourselves. Yeah, no. no. So, what's what's the update on your character? Uh, my character likes a good fight. <laughs> Um, he, he loves to work on the computer uh, as far as like maybe shutting it and hitting somebody over the head with it, you know, he's a kind of a Neanderthal, uh, <laughs> but he's a pilot and he's fearless and, uh, I think he's just a good, good dog to hunt with. My dad used to say, if you're ha- you need a good dog to hunt with. So I feel like I'm a dog on a, on a leash, junkyard dog, mm-hmm. if, he, if he needs to take Pretty him much. off. So. Let him go. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. Nowadays, nowadays, guys use a lot of technology to, you know, get out of situations. So how how does MacGyver will use right that that that, that, that technology? He's gonna use a, a cell phone to, to I don't know right, to yeah. m- manufacture something, or it's gonna you know, <coughs> okay. I'm taking away the cell phone and bringing back the the old, you know, screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, well, I, that's so we have a character Riley played by Tristan Mays who does kind of compartmentalizes all the technology. Mm-hmm. So um, I, it leaves me to do all of my things as MacGyver and not deal with, not, I don't want to, I don't want to see me on a cell phone. I don't want to see me, on, well, <laughs> you know, obviously <laughs> I use it to call people, but I don't want to be, it's not, it's not a tech show now just because we live in a, the age of technology. He's still using what's around him to figure out how to solve the problem. And, uh, you know, that's what MacGyver was all but, about. But, you know, even with pop culture, pulp fiction, Things seem to be cyclical, you know. I think with technology is starting to bury us in our homes, and you're starting to see more and more people remembering how great being outside is. Mm-hmm. And picnics like are and Pokemon Go, for example. And people call it, you know, I'm going to go off the grid. Oh my gosh, if you even turn your cell phone <laughs> off, mm-hmm. people get anxiety with their cell phone off. So I think it's coming back around, you know. Just just like this show's coming back around, you know. It's it's a different kind of evolution and progression of, of pop culture in a way. We're, we're going to be tired of being stuck in front of that screen after after a while. Trust me, people are all of a sudden you're going to see a boom in camping supplies. <laughs> <laughs> so you're basically, you're saying that we we're, we're going to live a, in in an era when there's going to be a lack a backlash to technology. That we people are going to go. Have you ever out. seen Terminator? 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think there's always a backlash when there's when there's something that drives pop culture one way or the other, or, or our society one way or the other. So I mean, it's all about evolution and progression, and and I just think we're really paying homage to a great show in a great way. I mean, we're just trying to not think about the outcome, but think about really living in the moment. And it's it's actually jumping off the screen, and we just saw some of it, so we're really excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we saw did, it for the yeah. first time this morning, so. We're <laughs> I, I remember the 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 old show that has that had a, a running villain. I, I, I think it was played by Everett McGill. So it's it's gonna be a running villain in, in the show. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, this show goes too all much, over. Yeah. Yeah. We do have a running villain uh, already, but uh, we could have several. Um, but I uh, can't ruin it for you. No, <laughs> we don't want to ruin it. But um, I think we've got one of the best actors in the business when it comes to playing a villain working with us right now so we hope to see oh, yeah. it again yeah and i also read that richard anderson is going to to be in the show is is he gonna be the old macgyver another macgyver a different universe yeah. again people have asked this <laughs> yeah, richard yeah, yeah. anderson question several times and it's hard for us to answer because quite frankly we were not producing the show we would love yeah, to, exactly. we would love <laughs> to work with yeah. Look, I, if yeah, you're yeah. watching richard come we'd, please we'd love to play we use you He's another but, man in the fire But what, what do you imagine his character will be? He'll be like your father uh, or your, your... Right, I know, I know. We've it won't be on the nose. No. Peter's no. not an on-the-nose no, right. guy. It's just, no. it's like if he comes back, it's going to be in a creative and interesting way. Too. Yeah, exactly, but still, you know, I mean... I, Maybe you get in a fist you. fight with him. <laughs> <laughs> get, my, get my ass kicked, yeah. <laughs> uh, still, my government has the no-guns policy. He does, yes. but that's kind of why I have him around. Because and if you're getting to as many uh, gunfights as I am, which I do get out of using no guns, yes, still no guns policy. But he's around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of like my character loves guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> he's an, he's an arms freak. Yeah, <laughs> oh, he loves it. Okay, uh, I should ask you about working with Tarantino on, on yeah. CSI. How, how was that experience? Because I think it was TV. Uh, it was his first TV show, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, definitely working with Quentin was was one of the top moments of my career. You know, to, I really felt like I was around a genius. So to watch him work, his approach to the work, his um, approach to others around him, he always has time and and respect for those that he's working with around him. He he brings out the best in everyone around him, almost without saying anything and. So creative and and smart um, that I try to take a little piece of each of these brilliant people I've been fortunate enough to work with, whether it's Fishburne or Tarantino or Simon Windsor or some of the other people that I've worked with, and uh, try to just take those best parts and emulate what I've seen them do and kind of their approach to the work and. When you work with somebody like Quentin, who, who his only note a lot of times would be, just make it real. Just make it real. Very simply. So that's kind of been my madra ever since. And it's a lot of times when, when we're working together, I say, right before we go, I say, let's just, let's just make it real. There's no right or wrong if it's real. So, yeah, really inspired by him. He's, he's special. Okay, thank you, guys, and thank good you. luck with the show. Thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.